Good morning. Although, it's not a good morning. Having heard very sad news of Beckles' passing, um, mere words seem immaterial, if you like. They seem meaningless. Um, Spike Milligan once said, when he lost a friend, he said something, and I think so Spike hit the nail on the head. He said, it's like a game of cards. I can't help thinking somebody's cheating. Which is sounds about right, doesn't it? When you look at the unpleasant people there are in the world that seem to almost like live forever, if you like. And then you lose somebody like... Yeah, I mean, it's just very, very sad. Very, very sad. My heart goes out to his family, for sure. For sure. And I sort of, I sort of have some experience of this because I lost my father to a similar condition you know, when he was 43. That was the end of him. So I sort of understand. What's the time here? 11 o'clock. So I sort of understand. So it's um, a very sad day, a very sad day. A very valued member of the community who will be greatly missed, I'm sure. Um, but carry on we will. And he'd want us to carry on, I'm sure of that. He'd want us to carry on. So carry on we will. Although, actually, I'm not going to, probably not going to do anything on the bench today. Because, um, I have a large batch of blackcurrant jelly to make for WI, so I could do that. I've got uh, about 12 pounds of blackcurrants in the freezer. I want to get them out and done and processed. Free up some space because I want to store some blackberries. For winter. <coughs> so that's probably what I'm going to be doing today, for the greater part of the day anyway. Started to lose my voice, excuse me. Um, <coughs> I've still odds and ends to do on the strong point. Uh, what I have been doing, I have been idle. What I have been doing is putting together the kit figures that we're doing and that's a mix of Master Box, Tamaya and Dragon um, yeah they're getting there um, I'll tell you something in a minute about the Dragon figures Here's one of my Mortar Team by Dragon. Here's the guy with the Piot. Now that Piot actually comes in four bits. I mean that was an awful thing to put together. He went together very nice. 
I have to say. How long those legs will stay on that brain gun under gaming conditions? Probably not very long because they're separate. You have glue them on, they're separate. But a nice figure. Now you can see with this figure. The, um, I was going to say rifle, it's not a rifle is it, it's a Sten gun. The Sten gun is not really in the crook of his arm properly. I don't personally, I don't think you can get it where it's supposed to be. Let me show you on the box here a minute. You can see by the guy. There, where the butt of the stand gun is supposed to be. I personally, on this figure, don't think you can do that. You know, you've got, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? You've got the, it's my stick here. You've got the pouches there. And the way the arms are, you're not going to. You're not going to do it. You're not going. That's the best of a bad job for that figure. And the thing is, the way the arms are shaped. See the way the arms are shaped. Just sort of, you know, holding it up. If you push the arms down, they sort of they're going to go outwards. So you can't just lower that arm to try and get the butt in the right position. Because if you do, the um, ammunition thing there, that will come out of that hand, because it will go down. So you have to lower both arms, but the way they're shaped, if you start lowering that arm, it's going to travel along the ammunition clip and come off the end. So you can only lower it so far, but even if you did lower them a wee bit, I still don't think he would do it. I still don't think he would do it. I think that's a poorly designed figure. If anybody's made this box, my dragon, and has managed to get the butt of the Sten gun in the right place on that figure, I'd be delighted to hear it. I have another box of these, so I'm going to try it again on the second one, but I personally don't think you can do it. So that's the only gripe with that. The other gripe is <coughs> with these figures. Where's my box? For modeler, I don't know you can read that. For modeler, age 10 years and over. I don't see a 10 year old kid. making these figures, or they're going to struggle, they're going to struggle, because all the hands on these figures, are so, well, this figure and our guy with the stand gun, those two figures, the hands are solid, so you can't get, you can't get the grip of the, the weapon in the hand, because they're solid, they have to be drilled out. Now, I can't see a 10 year old kid doing that, drilling them out. Um, it's okay for people like sort of most of us in the community, we have a bench full of tools and all the gear to do it. But even then, drilling the hand out, I struggled a wee bit, it was, it was awkward, awkward to do. So I don't really see a 10 year old kid necessarily doing that, but hey, if you're 10 years old and you've done it, let me know. But um, the Tamaya and the Masterbox figures, I'm still 
working on. Two of the Master Box figures are finished. Here's our civilian, our, or did you call him, gamekeeper, I suppose, complete with the rabbit on the back of the, hanging down from the belt, and the shotgun. That's a lovely figure, actually. I'm going to enjoy painting that guy. Here's another guy with a huge amount of kit on his back. Lovely figures again by Master Box. Beautiful. The detailing is much crisper than on the dragon figures. Absolutely wonderful. So you have our command figure here which is sort of two-thirds done I guess and also guy with a brain gun we will have a brain gun when he's done nice figure nice figure And the Tamaya figures were a bit further back than that, actually. But what I have done. <coughs> I put each one in a little shop cup just so I don't lose the bits. I keep all the bits together. What I have done for these Tamaya figures is I put a note in this. Um, cup. Detachable heads for swapping. Because these Tamaya figures, they come with a choice of head. You can either have the helmeted head or the head with the beret on it. So what I thought I'd do is I would drill out the neck, put a pin in, and have swappable heads. I'll, I'll paint both heads for each figure and you can swap them over as and when you see fit. Why waste a good head? Why waste a good head? So they'll have interchangeable heads. The only other thing we still to do are the bicycles, folding bikes. So that's where we're at with the kit figures, coming on nicely. Looking forward to painting them. Um, what I'm going to do this time round is, priming wise, I'm going to spray prime them because the last lot I did of British Airborne I painted them by hand, primed them by hand there were some issues with air bubbles in the primer, very fine air bubbles so I would spray them this time and to that effect I put a mask for spraying so hopefully that'll be here in a day or two. Um, it's also, the mask is also, because I don't like the smell of the glue, the vapour coming off the glue, it doesn't matter which glue you use, the vapour is not good and probably not healthy. Let me know, let me know any of you out there how you deal with the vapour on the glue or which glue you use. I've got variety of glues. As I alluded to in my last video, I've got a variety of glues that I'm trying. Citadel glue, Army Painter, and also the Revell. Now I tell you with the Revell, they, this one on the Citadel, they have a metal almost like a needle nozzle with this one 
As soon as you take the cover off, watch what happens. Oh, he's not going to do it now. Nine times out of ten, that needle will come out stuck in that. But it's actually, it's in there quite tight at the moment, which is good. But I can see, if this were to get blocked, this needle, you've had it, you've had it. Yeah, as soon as I say this needle comes out, it actually, actually stays there, typical. But I was using it yesterday, and every time I took the top off, the needle would come out. And you've got to get a pair of pliers and pull it out the cap. This one. Ah, see. That almost came out then. See. I don't know why they can't fix these things in. So we're in a permanent state. And this one, I guarantee you, every time I go and use it, the nozzle is blocked. It's got one of these sort of plastic nozzles on it. And I have to ram a map pin down there, which I keep for the purpose, to unblock it every time I want to use it. Sticking power-wise, they're, they're all much or much less. Sticking power-wise, they all sort of I guess you could say they stick like shit to a blanket. It's just the issues with all these things, the super glue is the same. Um, the nozzles tend to block or they come away, you know what I mean? And the smell is horrendous. The only other thing you can use really is like that with a brush. You could use that. That stinks to high heaven. And the vapor is probably, like I say, the vapor is probably not healthy for you, which is why I've, I've got the face mask coming. Um, yeah, let me know how you deal with the vapor and the stink from the glue and what glue you use. I'd be interested to know. I'd be interested to know. Um, the only other thing I have to go back to the kid figures. The only other thing I have to do with the kid figures. As you can see by that, it's put straps on the rifles and the brain guns and stuff. And should be a couple of straps on that pad, so we will put them in. But that's where we're at. Anyway, I'm going to go away now and make a huge batch of jelly. Get rid of those black currants in the freezer. Um, yeah, very sad day, very sad day. Um, mere words seem inadequate, they seem inadequate. Thanks for watching.